Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com and this is Matty, my mascot and assistant. In this lesson we're going to do some rounding and estimating, especially concentrating on some metric units of length, so we get more practice with those. Round to the nearest meter and then we find the rounding error. Okay, but this is given in centimeters, so how do you round to the nearest meter? You have to remember that 100 centimeters makes a meter. So 500 some centimeters is over 5 meters, right? And 600 centimeters would be exactly 6 meters. And so we are basically rounding to the nearest 100 in this. And so we, this would be rounded to 600 centimeters or 6 meters. The rounding error, because this would be 600 centimeters, the rounding error is difference between this and this. The difference is 28 centimeters. Okay, another 7.22 meters rounded to the nearest meter. Well, this is easy because it is already given in meters. We round to exactly 7 meters, right? Now, rounding error in centimeters. Okay, now centimeters are the sentiment hundredth part, okay? And this one is actually exactly 22 hundredths, isn't it? So it is 22 centimeters here. This is the same as 7 meters, 22 centimeters. So our rounding error is 22 centimeters. Or oh, the difference between this and this. Round to the nearest 100 meters. Okay, I'm going to change this into meters first. Remembering that kilo means 1000. So I have here, if it was just plain 8, if I had 8 kilometers, I would have exactly 8000 meters, right? But these digits just follow my digit of the thousands here, so it becomes 8,128 meters. Now I'll round it to the nearest 100 meters, or to the nearest 100 here, so 8,100. Okay, let's do the same here. Change this to meters first. Remember that two whole kilometers would make 2,000. So two goes to the thousands place, and then these other digits follow, like that. And then rounding it here, we get 2,100 meters. Calculate and round to the nearest tenth of a meter. Okay, again, just to give us more practice, this is in meters, this is in centimeters. We can either change both to centimeters or change both to meters. Either way will work. Okay, for example, let's say that I will change both to centimeters so I won't have decimals to deal with. 2 meters makes exactly 200 centimeters, right? So this here, this 2 here goes to hundreds place, and so the 7 has to come after that. Hundreds place, tens place here. So this is 270 centimeters. Take away 59 centimeters. So we will get 211 centimeters. Now the rounding, because it is asking us to round to the nearest tenth of a meter. Now tenth of a meter would be decimeter. These are centimeters though. Maybe the easiest thing is to change this back to meters, okay? Knowing that 200 centimeters is exactly 2 meters, so we have to have 2 in the ones place, 2.11 meters. And then we round to the tenths place here, so it is about 2.1 meters. And you can do it the other way around too, so that you change this to 0 0.59 meters, subtract, and then you already have it in meters and you round. 5 meters, 7 centimeters, plus 3.11 meters. Let me change this here to meters, okay? Remember 7 centimeters, centi meaning hundredth. So this is 7 hundredths of a meter, 5 and 7 hundredths of a meter. As a decimal like this, seven hundredths of a meter. And the other one that we need to add, this is pretty easy to add, we get eight, and then point, and then we have eighteen hundredths of a meter. And now round it to the nearest tenth over here, so we should get 8.2 meters. Now round to the nearest kilometer. Okay, this one here, let's change it to kilometers, this is already in kilometers. 7,000 meters would be exactly 7 kilometers, wouldn't it? So 
when I write this whole thingy as kilometers, this 7 has to go to the ones place. And so then I have to have the rest of the digits like this. So I get exactly 7 kilometers from the 7,000. And then 13.06 kilometers. Okay, now these decimals are of different, different lengths, so to speak. So let me add a zero here. So I will have three digits here, three digits here. 7 plus 13 would be 20. 288 and 0, 060. Okay, actually I don't need to add them. It's going to be something, but it's going to be rounded to 20 kilometers, no matter what it is. Because I cannot get to here a digit that would be 5 or more. So a little shortcut here. The distance from Jack's home to work is 4.28 kilometers. And estimate the distance he bicycles in a year. Okay, this is assuming, I didn't write it down, that he bicycles to and back from work. Estimate the distance he bicycles in a year if he works five days a week and has four weeks of vacation. You need to also remember that how many weeks are in a year. There's 52 weeks in a year. He has four weeks of vacation, so that means he works 48 weeks. Now this is basically a multiplication problem, but to estimate we will need to round some of our numbers so we can calculate it mentally. But let me first figure out what we actually need to multiply. We need to multiply, of course, by the distance. Now, each day, it might be helpful to double that, for starters, because each day he bicycles 8.56 kilometers back and forth, okay? And then, how many days does he work in a year? Like I said, there was 48 weeks and 5 days a week. Okay, so that is our multiplication to do. And now, to estimate, we will round those numbers. Okay, this number can be rounded to 50 and 5. Now this one, I rounded 48 up to 50. If I round this up to 9, I think we are going to overestimate. So, let me try rounding that down to 8, okay, so that the error of estimation will be less. And now we will have 8 times 5 is 40 times 50. 40 kilometers times 50, which is, we get about 2,000 kilometers. What's that, Matthew? Oh, he's urging me to calculate it exactly. Well, okay, okay. It's this one here. It's just this... Let's multiply these whole numbers first, and then we multiply by the decimal. 48 times 5 is 40, and then 24. And then that times 8.56 times 240. There, first times 0, 0, 0, nothing there. 4 times 6, 24. Then there's 20 plus 2, 22, 30, 34. Then 2 times 6, 12. 2 times 5 plus 1, 11. 2 times 7, t. And then add 0, 4, 4, 5, and 2. And there are two digits here, two decimal digits here, so I need to put two decimal digits here too. So it is 2054.4 kilometers. So our estimation was really close. Now, if I had used 9 here, our estimation would have been much more, you know. So you can see how much it helped to round down, round up, to compensate for the uh, error of estimation. Lastly, how many 79 cent muffins they on sale can Matthew get with $10, with $15? Well, must be blueberry muffins, huh? Oh yeah. You know what? This is, okay, if I estimate, I'll use 80 cents, right? 80 cents? This would be so much easier if this was $8, Matthew, right? Don't change this problem, huh? Well, I'm not totally changing it, Matthew. I just want to figure it with $8 at first. With $8, Matthew would get 10 muffins, right? How about with $2? Okay, 80 cents. Okay, he can only get two muffins with $2. He cannot get three, so two muffins. So in total, with $10, you will get 12 muffins. Now how about with $15, okay? Maybe I'll use my $8 again. $8 means 10 muffins. Now, how about another easy number, 
80 cents times exactly five will be four dollars, so five more. And then this is twelve dollars, three dollars more. Okay, three dollars. Four times 80 cents would be three dollars twenty. And three times 80 cents is 2.40, so three more. So in total, 18 muffins. Is that gonna fill you up? I thought so too.